Good morning on this beautiful fall, October 24th. I'm Sim Sonnet with Tatucket Television. I am here at North Branford Intermediate School watching the community roundup at work. Right now we have over 100 students that are out in the community collecting items with parental supervision, of course, um, from local members in the community. So how long have you been involved in this particular project? I've been involved in, in the community roundup since I came to North Branford Intermediate School. So it's it's been probably close to 15 years or so that I've been involved. And uh, going way back when I was a teacher at North Branford Intermediate School, that goes back to the late 70s. And so how long has the community roundup uh, been a program in the North Branford public system? 26 years. Oh, that's and very impressive. Back, back in the early days, we used to collect clothing and food. And um, it ended up with um, a situation where there really was more of a demand in the community for food. So we decided to forego the clothing drive as part of this effort and focus simply on the non-perishable food items. So 26 years is a long time. I imagine you have raised uh, a lot of uh, items donated over that time. How many meals have been prepared? Uh, like a rough estimate of, of what has been prepared over that time. Well, very unofficial figure. I, I actually was looking at this the other night, and uh, very rough figure. I would guess in excess of 250,000 items have been contributed to the North Branford community over the past 26 years. And so right now the students are out in the community, correct? Yes. Um, with, of course, parental supervision, going around collecting items. So what's happening in the cafeteria at the moment, um, sort of behind the scenes, the magic there, while they're out collecting the items? While the students are out canvassing the North Branford Northford communities, our staff members arrive at various points between 9 and 11, and they'll assist with setting up boxes, and also uh, setting up the stations for the different items. When the students return, we'll actually sort the items by category. Makes it easier once they arrive at the food pantry in terms of sorting. So it becomes quite a busy place and you'll see that action very, very shortly when the students return. So, you know, as a, as a final question for you, what are you most excited to see when the students get back? The most exciting part for me is seeing the, the community spirit and the genuine enthusiasm on the faces of not only the adults who put in their time and the adult drivers, but also the many students, most of whom are from North Branford Intermediate School. The looks on their faces and just the, the, the feeling of pride that permeates the school as we, we know that collectively we're doing such a great thing for the town of North Branford. So welcome once again. I'm very, very excited to have, uh, have many of you back. I know that for some of you this is your first time and for many of you who've been here many, many times before. I'm Alan Davis. I'm the principal at MBIS. Very proud to be a part of the Community Roundup and have been uh, involved with our school in terms of hosting this event 26 years in a row, the 26th Annual Community Roundup. So I'm very, very proud of that. So, by show of hands, how many of you is this your first? How many of you are here for the first time? Oh, that is terrific! That is wonderful. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. So, how many of you have been here before? Raise your hands. Now, keep your hands up if this is more than you've been here more than twice. More than twice. More than five times. Wow, that is wonderful. Give them a round of applause, please. Wonderful. First of all, I want to thank everyone in this room and anyone who, who know, know us. Um, but I also would like to thank Scott for being now and Davis um, for hosting this. And, and uh, I, I could not be more pleased. I remember doing this with Matthew, Elise, and Alexa. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But be careful as you go out on routes and running up and down big wide when you go in there and get those hams. Because I know how it all works. I remember. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do, and I look forward to doing this, um, Connecticut Food Bank has a formula. So we're going to count all the pieces. We're going to weigh all the pieces. And someone in this room is going to win, and that's going to be great. But what we're going to do is we're going to report back so that everyone understands how many people, how many meals are actually going to be provided to people from just the food that was it's going to be collected here today. So thank you very, very much. This is going to be a lot of fun. Be careful and go get those hands. <laughs> sure. 
are like for me to thank all the volunteers who for the past 22 years have contributed to the North Rancher Food Bank. And to let you know that this um, is called Make a Difference Day for a reason because over the past 26 years now, videos that you have made a profound difference in your community. She thanks you for your service and wants you to continue to uh, support the North Rancher community with this wonderful food drive and uh, just to say um, thank you for all you've done and all you will continue to do in making a difference for your community. Thank you very much. The most exciting part of it today? I think was going around collecting and thanking the people for giving it to us. And what was the neighborhood response like? It was like they're really nice, sweet, and generous. That's very cool. And uh, what year is this for you and like the amount of times you've done the round? This is my first year and me and my partner want to do it again next year. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. All right, Evan, so what year is this for you for the Community Roundup? My second. This is your second year? Uh, why did you do it the first year, and then why did you decide to do it again? Well, I, was do I wasn't doing anything last year on Saturday, so I figured I'd help out, and then um, he did it with me, so. Uh, what was your like, favorite part of the Roundup this year? Um, Probably, like, well, going around collecting all the stuff, really. And what did you think the neighborhood response was like? Well, like, a lot of people weren't home, but, like, most people left their stuff outside. But some people weren't home at all, so it was like, like kind of like some people were and some people weren't home. Yeah. And you know that all of this um, goes to a local food pantry um, for the town and the community that you're part of. Are mm -hmm. you really happy that you're doing a really nice thing for people? Yeah. So are you going <laughs> to do it again next year? Yeah. So why, why did you decide on this beautiful Saturday to do the community roundup? Um, I thought it would be fun, and I like going, like, driving around, so, yeah. How many donations do you think you guys got? Um, I don't know. <laughs> got a lot though? Yeah. What, did, what was it like in the community going up to houses and picking up stuff? Um, some of them didn't have any, but it was fun. It was fun? Yeah. And uh, how's, the, how's the temperature outside? <laughs> it was kind of cold. Kind of cold? Yeah. But, you know, breaking a little sweat running around? Yeah. Are you going to do it again next year? Probably. All right, excellent. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> So right now we're sitting in the cafeteria of North Brantford Intermediate School and we are looking at all out of the parental volunteers and the teacher volunteers who are all uh, in the cafeteria over here making lots and lots and lots of boxes because they're expecting a lot of food from this very caring community. Um, it's been going on for 26 different years. We spoke with the principal Alan Davis earlier and they are very excited. We should expect the students back here around 11 o'clock, 11, 1130 for the total count separating and announcing the winner of the community round. Up, but of course the real winner is the community who is going to be benefited from all these amazing donations. What year is this for you as far as community roundup goes? It's my second. It's your second year. So what inspired you to do it again? Um, I thought it might be fun and it's all going to a worthy cause. So, so you like doing things for charity? Yes. Oh, very cool. Uh, so you're going to do it again next year? Definitely. And what was your opinion of the neighborhood and uh, picking up the groceries? How was that? It was fun. Um, the, most of the neighbors were out and uh, had a lot of food out. And would you recommend um, to your peers and classmates, I know there were like 100 students here, yeah. mostly uh, from the local school district, but would you recommend um, to your peers and classmates who may be watching to get involved for next year? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. And how was the experience for you? It was fun getting the food and now it goes to good people that don't have any. So how many, how many houses did you have to go to? Um, quite a lot. It's like a gauntlet of different things. You yeah, have to do. it was a lot of houses we had to ask for food. <laughs> and how many donations do you think you picked up? Um, I do not know. So would you recommend to all your peers to definitely get involved with this next year? Yep. And are you going to be there next year? Yep. That sounds awesome. Thank you so much. So before I announce the winners, a um, couple of quick announcements to make. Today in total, we counted a total of 8,736 items. And that's, that's a preliminary count. That number will probably uh, increase over the next couple of days because there are always some late um, arrivals as far as food that was not either picked up or that might come in late. So that's an outstanding job. In total, when it came to cash donations, 
checks, gift cards, we're over the $1,100 mark. So that's a very nice number to, to have as well. I believe that surpasses last year's total. Um, before we do get to our winners, Mr. Davis wanted me to make sure that we thank several people that made this event a very successful event. So first, and he's not here right now, but the person who puts all the routes together, and I believe that he's been involved for well over 20 years, one of our language arts teachers in the seventh grade, Mr. Mark Torrenti. When everybody was here in the morning after you left, one thing that our students and our parents missed was the putting together of all of these boxes. And I'm not sure how many boxes we put together, but there were several pallets of boxes that we put together, and those boxes were donated by Rose Angeloni. So thank you, Rose Angeloni. Uh, to the teachers and the staff of MBIS who came here early on a Saturday morning and gave up their time, and many of them brought their families. Thank you to our teachers and staff. Thank you to Fran Marola and Public Works. They are doing the transporting of all of these boxes to the food pantry, so thank you to Fran and the staff. Many of you tasted the delicious hot chocolate and the coffee and the goodies that were put out, so a thank you to our director of our food service program here, Gina Bona. Another thanks, of course, to the person who is really, you know, going to have a lot of work from this point in bringing the food back to the pantry, um, Lynn Reardon, for everything that she has done. <laughs> Lynn's work really begins now, <laughs> once you get back, and sorting all this stuff out. Um, a very special thank you to the NBIS and the NBHS, many former students of NBIS, the students, the students who were here and who made sure to give their time for their community. So thank you to all the students who are here today. And last but not least, events like this are not made possible without parental support, without having the parents and the loved ones, the, the family members that did the driving and uh, made sure that they got everybody up and made sure that everybody was delivered um, to the sites and back to school safely. So thank you to the parents and all the family members who made this possible. <laughs> and now the winners. So, uh, very, very, as you all saw, there was a ton of food here. I don't know where this ranks historically, but in my three years here, I saw more food today than I've seen in my three years doing this event. Um, so it was a wonderful turnout. A lot of teams collected a lot of food. We're gonna recognize the top three teams, but when it comes to an event like this, and this is very important, even if you are not one of the top three teams, everybody should feel very proud of their effort and everybody should feel as if they've won because in the big picture, what everyone did today was help people in need. And that's the true reward. With that said, in third place, with a total score of 531 points, from Team Wealthy, Johanna, Eva, and Alyssa. Come on up. You have won. That is on gate card, so congratulations. Why don't you pose for Mrs. Reardon, take a picture. In second place, with 538 points, from Team Teodoro, Amanda, Carly, and Carly. Congratulations, you have won some Google Play cards. In first place, with a grand total of 576 points, Team Brustman, Noel, Olivia, Megan, and Madison. Congratulations. To all of our students from NBIS who participated today, 
you will be receiving from either myself or Mr. Davis pride tickets for exemplifying the attributes that we look for in our students here, our pride attributes. So congratulations with that, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you.